Winning takes a lot more than great aim, especially at the world championship level. All jokes and drama aside, Valorant Champions has delivered a ton of hype moments and super interesting plays. Here are some of my favorite tricks and big brain plays that pros have been pulling off in the group stage. Vision Strikers had been consistently farming the Seelong Orb on their split up attack default, and Fnatic uses this cool play to punish it despite being at a big gun disadvantage. They start the round with four players stacked on C site, and in response to Vision Strikers jump spotting to collect the orb, they put up a fake smoke. The duration is just long enough for the Fnatic players to walk into it, and when the smoke disappears, the attacking jet gets absolutely deleted by a firing squad of classics. Surprise and numbers are great ways to even the odds against better weapons, and here is a similar play made by Sentinels as they try to push into Team Liquid's defense on split. Expecting someone to be holding the smoke, Sentinel splits their three players to either side of the smoke on B main. They send Sage through first, which draws the defending Astra's crosshair to the left, and a split second later, the other two Sentinels players pop out on the right side of the smoke and mow down the panic spraying Astra. Speaking of Liquid, this slick entry play really showcases how awesome teamwork can be used to crack open A site on Ascent. The play begins with Sova using Drone to clear the entrance. This is combined with a smoke to block the door to Tree and a leer from Reyna. The leer distracts the defenders from shooting the drone and gives it just enough time to tag the Astra who is holding the entrance angle. Liquid's jet then throws a smoke onto the site and dashes into it, but uses the drone's tag to win a blind gun duel against Astra who can't see him either. Layered and coordinated plays like this make me super excited to see where Valorant is in a couple of years. Here's another example from Fnatic as they try to retake and defuse against Cloud9 on Icebox. Keep an eye on Sova and Jet here. Fnatic expects Cloud9 to be holding post plant from B main and behind the yellow shipping container. They need to create pressure from B main to allow for the players on the site to push forward and fight for the defuse. On what appears to be a communicated countdown timing, Sova swings out into B main, and at the very same moment, Jet uses dash and updraft to get a crazy angle on the same defensive positions. Sova's swing pulls the C9 attention and crosshairs away from the flying Jet, and Fnatic find two picks for an overwhelmingly successful retake. We can't talk about cool Jet plays without mentioning CNET. He starts the round by holding B main on Breeze from an unusual angle atop this pillar, and when the drone spots him, he kills it and dashes to cover it behind the middle pillar. This quick change of positioning allows him to catch the Reyna right before his allied Cypher's cage goes up to block vision. He then uses the distracting utility from his teammates to reposition to a very close angle on the entrance. And I wanted to highlight this cool angle because it uses a little bit of extra map geometry to give him some cover to hide behind without messing up his crosshair placement. When Vivo Keed tries to re-push B, Cenid kills Cypher, smokes off the entrance, and then updrafts on top of the nearby pillar to peek over his own smoke for another shot. He then changes angles again and plays off the information from his Cypher's surprise tripwire to the side of the entrance to find a fourth kill through the smoke. The element of surprise is a huge part of Valorant and makes Sova's ultimate fairly difficult to use correctly. To balance an ability that can shoot through walls, Riot made it so Sova's ult gives targets a clear warning of where it is being shot and plenty of time to move out of the way. That is, of course, unless you can somehow hide that charge up time. Sova mains started aiming their ultimate into the floor and pulling it up at the last second to avoid this warning, but sometimes this makes it a little bit harder to shoot accurately, and so this technique from Crew uses some great map knowledge instead. Another interesting thing about Sova's ult is that it makes the character hover off the ground during the charge and actually float upwards a little bit. Crew's Sova uses this mechanic on the lower level of A short to surprise Team Liquid's defenders on the site. By jumping up and then firing the ultimate and floating up from A short, Sova hides a large portion of the windup time before the shot as the beam just kind of appears out of the floor to clear the way for a push onto the site. I certainly love me some nerdy mechanics, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed if you like this video because there's a lot more like it coming out very soon.